my name is Alyssa Vermilia, and I am an environmental health supervisor. I manage the on-site wastewater and solid waste programs. Uh, my job is to help people understand how to install septic systems so that they last 20 to 30 years in a safe manner. I also manage things like uh, mobile home parks, campgrounds, landfills, trash trucks, and make sure that those aren't going to pollute our environment too. One of the career skills that is essential for being successful in this position is being able to understand regulatory compliance. You have to be able to not only understand the regulations yourself to the full extent, but then be able to explain those to the public, anyone out on the street. So academic skills that are necessary for this job, surprisingly, you're going to use geometry. Even though your teacher said you're going to use this in real life and you didn't think so, I use geometry on a regular basis. So using math to triangulate our distances around houses um, from a well to a septic system or even trying to figure out the slope of a property uh, that utilizes math and geometry on a regular basis. Technical writing is utilized also on a daily basis and we use this in writing up our inspection reports. We want to be able to indicate all of the corrective measures that need to be written in a organized manner so that the people that are trying to make the corrective measures can understand it and also make sure that we're referencing the appropriate regulations. People ask me all the time, how do you get into this career? And what I have to tell you is that you need to start with a bachelor's degree. And that bachelor's degree can be in any sort of natural, physical, or applied science. Within your first year of employment, you have to pass what's called a registered sanitarian's exam. It teaches you everything from how to manage um, milk industry, air quality, sewage, restaurants, swimming pools. All of these fields are options for opportunities for employment in this career field. So by passing that exam, that allows you the opportunity in any of these areas. There are a variety of opportunities to work in this field. I work at the county level. There are also positions at the state and federal level or even working with the tribes. I even had a coworker who worked overseas working with the Army doing health inspections overseas. Advice I would give you is find your passion. I found my passion in this career field. So if there is something that enticed you with this video, something that interests you, find your passion. Figure out what that is and pursue it.